And we're back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another installment of What If Tanjiro Had the Sharingan. If you haven't already done so, make sure to go grab a snack, play some Fortnite, wash your dishes, do something, okay? Be productive while you watch this video because it is like pretty much audiobook format. So do something, y'all. And um and 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 yeah, just enjoy the video. Hey Ross, sauce it up. Jumping back into the story, Tanjiro turns towards Inosuke and smiles at him, saying that it's his sister. And Zenitsu would look at him and say, What? You're traveling with a girl and you didn't tell me? Like, what are you doing? You know what I mean? And Zenitsu's just popping off, like, like you guys would expect. But ultimately, Tanjiro says, Of course I didn't tell you. Because first of all, nobody exactly wants to tell another demon slayer that they're traveling with a demon. And number two, the main reason, you are a little weird when it comes to girls sorry about that zenitsu and zenitsu just looks at him and says how dare you you know i'm so glad that i got beat up for this girl you know i'll, I'll do it again too and then you know tanjiro laughs and then nosuke wakes back up and he's like wait i'll fight you again you know and he gets up and he's all drowsy and tanjiro looks at him and says dude chill out from here you know would just look at tanjiro and you know he realizes that tanjiro has these weird eyes right and Tanjiro would ask Inosuke what in the world his deal is. Inosuke says that he's a demon slayer just like him. However, he's not really official. He just does it because he does it. And, you know, Tanjiro would just look at him and say, well, I mean, you're more than welcome to join us. Like, if you want, we're probably going to get a mission sometime soon. Inevitably, a crow would end up flying on top and it would tell them that they have to go to now Mount Natagumo, right? And so all three of them would begin basically making their way there. And on the way, Tanjiro would ask Zenitsu, Hey, so uh, quick question. What does your breathing style consist of? And Zenitsu looks at Tanjiro and he would say, Oh, I, I use thunder breathing. And Tanjiro would say, That's interesting. Can you perform a you know a, an attack for me? Zenitsu would get shy before then saying that he really only knows one form. And, you know, Tanjiro would be like, Seriously, like just one? And Zenitsu would get like super shy and would say like, ah, uh, you know, he's too shy to perform it right now. And Tanjiro would ultimately say like, it's fine. Like he can just show him some other time. But ultimately he turns towards Inosuke and asks him what his deal is. Like what breathing style does he use? And Inosuke is like, huh? I use beast breathing. As Tanjiro would look at him and say, perform it. And Inosuke would say, gladly. As from here, he goes through all of his forms. And Tanjiro would have been watching him with precise certainty of knowing that He's about to copy this man, this man's whole flow word for word, you know what I mean? And so Tanjiro then looks at Inosuke and says, so like this, as he copies some of the breathing forms that Inosuke uses, not all of them, considering that Inosuke's body, like, like, ta like Tanjiro can only copy so much, you know what I mean? Like Inosuke's breathing styles has like some techniques where he dislocates his bodies and, and, and stuff like that for his weird movements. And that's the reason that Inosuke can do so much of the crazy things that he does. So Tanjiro can't copy those ones. He'd have to like work on that. But ultimately, you know, it's just going to be a little bit harder for him to learn those ones. But for now, Tanjiro pretty much gets the basics of beast breathing down. And it would actually be very interesting. They make their way towards this house where this lady would tell them that they're more than free and welcome to stay. And they would get some rest for the first time in like who even knows how long. Ultimately though, they would finally make their way towards Mount Natagumo. And once they're there, they would end up meeting up with some random like demon slayer called Murata. Who pretty much ends up telling them that they should get lost. You know, like th this place is terrible. You know, demons are all over the place. And um, simultaneously... Giyu and Shinobu would actually both be sent to investigate. Now, Tanjiro and Inosuke, they're in there. Zenitsu, he's a little scared, so he doesn't go in there, but ultimately he would still get bitten by the spider, and he still ultimately ends up defeating that demon. As for Tanjiro and Inosuke, if I do remember correctly, which I'm pretty sure I do, Tanjiro and Inosuke would both actually get pressed by some spider demon, like the really big and buff one. And 
while they're pretty much getting like encountering this guy like like um Tanjiro and Inosuke would both fight against this guy right now Tanjiro and Inosuke would both be linked like simultaneously and they would both be fighting in the beast breathing style Tanjiro landing combination attacks with Inosuke Inosuke being some completely caught off guard and just shocked at the fact that Tanjiro can copy his moves like Tanjiro hadn't displayed this ability and Inosuke would actually be getting angry but ultimately because both of them would be facing off against this dude with simultaneous perfect teamwork since Tanjiro can use his Sharingan and can just track this dude's movements they would both easily be able to get his blind spot and just his head comes off so uh rest in peace but ultimately after that what would end up going down is that Tanjiro and Inosuke would end up encountering the mother spider demon and as this is all happening, Tanjiro would just, here, you know what? I'm about to spare you your life. As from here, he just like cuts her head off and says that he gave her a graceful death. Like it was painless. You know what I mean? Like almost, well, it, a little bit of pain, but it was so quick that you didn't even feel it. You know what I mean? But ultimately what would happen after this is that we would finally end up having the encounter between Tanjiro versus Rui. However, this time around, Tanjiro wouldn't encounter Rui alone. And so he and Inosuke would both actually be there simultaneously. Tanjiro would ask him what his deal is and what powers he's gonna pull out of his ass. As from here, Rui would then end up using his spider web demon art, and Tanjiro would just kind of actually get caught off guard a couple of times. Ultimately, being able to use his sun breathing like form to completely catch Rui off guard and cause Rui to be completely stunned. I mean, he never expected somebody like Tanjiro to be capable of doing something like this. And Inosuke would just be watching in complete awe and shock, considering that if Inosuke would have fought Rui, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty sure that Inosuke couldn't have beat him. Like, I don't think that Inosuke would have done half as good as Tanjiro. So, ultimately, I am going to be saying that Tanjiro catches this dub, and eventually when Giyu and Shinobu would arrive, they end up arriving to the death of all the demons that were there, and Tanjiro and Inosuke would both be fine. Zenitsu would be the only one that really needs healing, and Shinobu would actually get caught by um giyu who would be the one responsible for stopping her from pursuing to kill you know nezuko and not only that but tanjiro would tell her that if she even tries to lay a hand on him again on his sister sorry that he will personally make sure that he decapitates her head from her body and she would be like is that a threat and you know tanjiro says it's not a threat it's a promise as from here they end up making their way back towards where the demon slayer core is at Inosuke gets accepted formally and then we have the rehabilitation training arc in which Nezuko and Tanjiro get tested and Tanjiro gets very angry this time at um at Sanami right and he, he's just not having it you know like when he like grabs his sister and starts stabbing her Tanjiro straight blitzes over there Sharingan active and clashes with Sanami they both have their swords you know, and Sonami is completely caught off guard because Tanjiro is keeping up blow for blow with Sonami. Like, and Sonami is just like, he's like, he's like, what is going on? You know what I mean? Because Tanjiro would have actually ended up on the time that they had to like make their way over towards the direction of the Demon Slayer core, would have had interaction with Giyu. And Giyu would have shown him his own little attacks, how he performs his. Even though he knows the attacks, Tanjiro just wants to see Giyu, Giyu's attacks and the way he fights and the movements and all that stuff. And Tanjiro would have copied some elements of him using a shutting gun. And ultimately, once they would end up clashing and Sanami would be like, caught off guard, Sanami would have his head cut off and he would just die. Or so what would happen in a Genjutsu. Because that's exactly what Tanjiro would use. And he would have also used a Genjutsu on all the Hashira, letting them know what would happen if they ever lay a hand on his Nezuko. And so Sanami would back up and say that, like, say that he was just testing her. As from here, Tanjiro would say that I'm going to test you if you don't back up. And from here, you know, Sanami would just like grit his teeth and, and then the Demon Slayer master person would be like, that's enough. You know what I mean? And so ultimately what would pretty much end up going down is that they would end up having a little bit of a rehabilitation training. And then they all, well, with the exception of Tanjiro, of course, because he already knows full concentration breathing, something that he would have coffeed off of, um, copied off of his trainer uh iruka daki right he would have copied that off of him and so tanjiro would already be blessed with that knowledge he would be able to actually end up helping them and thus would begin the mugen train arc in which during this time tanjiro actually would end up talking to multiple of the hashiras and asking them to perform their own like styles of breathing 
The only one who would actually be doing anything or showing Tanjiro something with enthusiasm would be Kyojiro, who would be like enthusiastic about it, kind of, but in a mean way, kind of, because like we all know how he was at the beginning, you know, Rengoku was going a little crazy, you know, but ultimately the Mugen train arc would start, they all fall asleep, Tanjiro has to kill himself a bunch of times to wake up, but ultimately he would still end up defeating the demon just like in canon, and this is when we would finally get to like the juicy, juicy stuff, right? Because you know, Rengoku, you know, he's fighting Akaza just like in the original, and they're going crazy, they're going blow for blow, I mean, the flames are going crazy, Akaza's using his, like, taijutsu martial art, and, bro, Akaza is one of the coolest, like, demons and demons, like, like, he goes off, but ultimately, Rengoku would still end up getting pierced right through the stomach, and... Tanjiro would literally be making his way back towards there right as we speak like he just finished defeating the demon and Tanjiro was about to make it back and he was about to like help Rengoku defeat Akaza but it would be at this moment that Akaza would pierce Rengoku and turn him into a donut right as Tanjiro would just get there at the last set like if Tanjiro would have been five seconds sooner he could have saved them but he wasn't and now Rengoku's gonna die and Akaza would offer him a position as a demon, and Tanjiro's eyes would just switch patterns as the Mangekyo swirl would form, and Tanjiro, through rage, would just, like, he just loses it, bro, like, honestly, his eyes end up having a Madarasu flames come out of them, and Akaza and Rengoku, mind you, because Tanjiro couldn't control it, would end up burning both of them alive, Rengoku screaming out in pain and ultimately saying like it's not his fault you know but Akaza would like burn away to ashes and nothing of him would be left so would be the case with Rengoku ultimately Zenitsu and Inosuke would arrive and they both see what happened and you know Inosuke would say not to say anything about this Tanjiro saying he feels terrible about what he did but Inosuke ultimately saying that he was gonna die regardless so he shouldn't feel shame or guilt and so Tanjiro kind of copes with it in that way by thinking that, you know, he was going to die either way, but ultimately Tanjiro would make his way towards Shunjiro and Senjuro, the place where Rengoku used to live at, and ultimately give his condolences for the death of Rengoku, right? But after this would happen, we would then get the Entertainment District arc once Tanjiro would make his way back towards the Demon Slayer course, right? And once he's there, we end up pretty much just getting the, the whole little arc that goes down, right? the battle between Tanjiro Kamado and Nezuko versus Shinrei Demon, right? They end up taking him out. And ultimately, after this, Tengen Uzui, you know, he pretty much ends up trying to take Aoi and Naho. And then once that ends up happening, you know, Tengen pretty much just ends up convincing both Inosuke, Zenitsu, as well as Tanjiro that, you know, they should go on a mission with him. They dress up as girls, yada, yada, yada. Tanjiro, one main, main, main thing that I definitely need to cover is that Tanjiro would have actually ended up co uh, c copying one of um, Tengen's fighting styles through this trip. Like before he went, Tanjiro said that all he needed him to do was to show him his, like, his breathing style. So now Tanjiro has copied sound breathing, beast breathing, and also thunder breathing which he would have completely copied off of Zenitsu when he caught Zenitsu off guard and 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 he would like pretty much tell Zenitsu to show him his style. Zenitsu would show it to him and now Tanjiro has access to flame, lightning, beast and water as well as sound breathing. Like Tanjiro is putting his shutting gun ability to very very good use and it's a phenomenal thing. Ultimately what would happen in the original between Zenitsu discovering uh wara bahime or something like that being a demon and all that stuff would still go down and then zenitsu would go missing and all that but ultimately after all this would go down inosuke would find the underground chamber and then finally like the little battle between the demon slayers versus daki and Gyutaro would start during this battle i wish i could sit here and say oh it's just such a cool battle tengen goes crazy and and Gyutaro and him have their same battle like in Canada, but no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. There's just, there's just no way. I mean, come on, bro. Like, Tanjiro now has access to thunder breathing. And he copied Zenitsu, who, if I'm being completely honest, Tanjiro with total concentration breathing, the Sharingan, 
and like the skill of a Hashira, because he's been copying their movements for a while, would be able to make Zenitsu's own first form bleeding, breathing, bleeding, <laughs> breathing even more powerful than it is in the original, leading to Tanjiro simply just pretty much saying, Thunder breathing, first form, thunderclap and flash, blitzing both Daki and Gyutaro in an instant, decapitating them both simultaneously. Like, he would have moved that fast, bro. That fast he would have moved. And the reason he was able to catch them off guard simultaneously was because he would have placed both of them under a Genjutsu, which causes them each to think that Tanjiro still hadn't, like, blitzed in and tried to attack. But by the time that they did realize, their heads were already off of their, well bodies and then they both just died and and yeah nezuko doesn't even have to go like full demon more this time and she doesn't even end up having to heal all the people that were there so they just make their way back towards the demon slayer core and because of this we actually have tengen not retiring but ultimately the the upper ranks would still end up meeting up and all that stuff just like they do in the original and all the demon slayers would return back towards where they where they're you know normally at um from here we end up pretty much just having the um the the beginning to the swordsmith village arc and y'all like, like we're getting like we're seriously getting to a point in this story where it's like it's not funny how easy it is for tanjiro like, 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 like brothers let me keep it a buck right now with the abilities that tanjiro has right now he could one shot moza like I, i'm i'm not gonna sugarcoat it sharingan tanjiro think about that he's not even gonna one shot him using like like anything he could one shot him using a Madarasu. that that's it's that simple a Madarasu. Oh, oh what's muzan gonna do nothing like it's an eternal flame that never dies muzan is gonna die and that goes to any other demon that would try to step into tanjiro on them so the things that would happen in the swordsmith village arch would all go like canon literally everything and all of it that you guys could think about would be just like literally the same but any time that a demon pops up in this arc and tanjiro would be the one facing these demons just pretty much imagine that tanjiro just straight one shots like yoko the demon the one that ended up body muichiro bro, bro, bro don't even get bro like ribcage susano the hand like the hand of the ribcage it would be a black susano that tanjiro has and it would just crush the demon in its hand causing the demon to just regenerate but then tanjiro comes in and straight slash to the neck the demon's dead and 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 it's just crazy just like in canon nezuko uh goes on to conquer the sun and you know from here we would have the moment in which muzan prepares to hunt for nezuko because he ends up finding out that oh wow you know like she can she can survive in the sun like what wha you know what i mean like so then after this we end up having the hashira training arc you know all the demon slayers train with the hashira but unlike in canon tanjiro would pretty much be made the like the pillar of like he would be made a hashira but he wouldn't be like the sound pillar the flame pillar, none of that like he would just be a, a, a like like the all all around hashira we're talking he ends up gaining access to all of their breathing styles every single one of them and he ends up pretty much mastering his sharingan even further than you guys would even ever imagine so by the time that we would get to the final battle arc the infinity castle just think about it like this Everybody else who had their battles in this version, they all go down just like in canon. Tanjiro, however, since Akaz is already dead, he doesn't have to face off against him, so he's able to feel free and just run in there and be able to face off against whoever he wants. Meaning, he could help out Inosuke and, um, what was that girl's name? Because I know that Inosuke didn't fight the, um, the demon Doma. It was also Shinobu, right? Yeah, it was Shinobu. So... Tanjiro would be able to assist them and Shinobu doesn't die and then he just like runs in there and eventually he would finally end up seeing Muzan the demon king right and when he sees him like Tanjiro just has like a, a little talk with him and Muzan says he must be Tanjiro the one he's heard so much about and Tanjiro just looks at him and says yeah and he must be Muzan Kibitsuji the one responsible for the death of his family and Muzan says oh I don't even remember them right Tanjiro gets mad 
and Tanjiro just says to him that no one will ever remember him after this embarrassing defeat. And Muzan laughs in Tanjiro's face. Like he genuinely thinks that Tanjiro can't do a thing, that Tanjiro's weak, that, that Tanjiro just can't keep up. But like, y'all, Tanjiro's not playing no games. Tanjiro is like angry. So he transforms into a gigantic Susano state and Muzan would get completely shook. He's like, what in the, like, 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 bro, what? You know, like, Yorichi was basically nothing compared to Tanjiro now. And just this gigantic Amaterasu blade, just like, like an Amaterasu covered Susano blade would just cut Muzan in half. And a gigantic, like, mountain sized explosion would happen as all the rest of the Demon Slayers would watch this all go on. And they're just shook. Nezuko would still return to being a human just like in canon and then Tanjiro would say that was easy what's next as that ladies and gentlemen would conclude what if Tanjiro had the Sharingan now think about it this way these what ifs are super fun to make I mean the Demon Slayer ones are just like like they're phenomenal they're great I, I love it it's it's a breath of fresh air for me I, I I've literally covered Naruto and my hero for so long that when I cover anything else it just it just feels reinvigorating like wow I can finally cover something that isn't the same three series you know what I mean but ultimately along with that also comes the downside of the Demon Slayer verse although it's awesome the Demon Slayer verse is super weak and Muzan, in comparison to a bunch of other anime villains, is also super weak. So whenever we're going to give Tanjiro these new abilities, he's probably, he's always going to one-shot Muzan towards the end. Unless it's like one of those abilities where it's like cool and it's like, oh wow, it does help Tanjiro, but it doesn't change anything. Then maybe Tanjiro might die earlier. So it's like, it's either going to be a bad ending for Tanjiro or a great ending for Tanjiro. Like there is quite literally no in-betweens with this. So... Yeah, that concludes What If Tanjiro Had the Shotting Gun. Peace.